Yeah. Yeah, I did. I thought, um, well, let me just go to the uh, first shift. We start Helms with Miko and Landy. They have a great shift and they score a uh, perfect opening to our game. Um, everyone was excited for Helms, brought a little uh, juice to our room. Uh, coming back here, everyone knows what the city and team meant to him for so long. And now to be moving on his first time back here, that helps kind of get our, our team going. And, um, you know, not too long after that, too, the, the, the shift by uh, the Joe Slime, um, New Hook, um, O'Connor, they go get us a big goal, doing the right things, highly um, tenacious on pucks, good puck pursuit, um, playing within our structure, and, and, and three guys going to the net hard, making an impact there. And I think New Hook had a chance at it, threw it to the front, then OC had a chance at it, hit a guy's leg, comes back to Jost. And that builds us a lead. And then I thought Detroit really made a push and we kind of died down for a little bit, especially in the first 12 to 15 minutes of the second period. But we started digging in again. We earned a couple penalties. Um, power plays gave us a little bit of life. And then uh, the Kadri, um, Brantman, and uh, Landis got go get us a big goal before the end of the period to kind of give us some breathing room. And, and I liked our third. Mm -hmm. So I thought uh, overall, really good team effort um, to finish off the road trip in the right way. Three and one on the road, lots of travel against some really good teams. And, it, you know, we're really happy with that, but to be able to get back on track and, and I'll be going back home. Oh, I just thought, you know, we like to start our our top line a lot to try to get us off on the right foot. They're the guys that kind of drive our team. And um, we were juggling the lines tonight anyway with Burkowski. And I just thought I'll get one round through it with sort of, you know, Berkey followed with Kadri and, and Val. And I wanted to get Helms out there and give him that experience. And paid off you know we, we used to do we do it a lot because I think it's I think it means it's just a little thing for us coaches but it means a lot to the the, the guys know you're thinking about them and their history and you know it's an exciting time coming back to play your old teammates so we like to give them the opportunity yeah 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 so I thought he was good. I thought he was good. I think um, finding the rhythm of the game early on can be, you know, difficult sometimes. You can tell he's excited, um, maybe a little overactive for me early, but I felt, I felt like he settled in as the game went on. He was good in the third period, uh, didn't give up a lot of rebounds. I mean, they had that second period push, and he does a great job. I mean, you look at their goal, it's a, it's a pass off the pads. He has really no chance. On uh, three on one, we gave up, gave up after a good ozone shift. So, um, yeah, I mean, he did the job. He, 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 that's what we need. We need guys to get in there, battle for us, and give us a chance to win. And he did that tonight for us. I thought he was great tonight. Yeah, he made the one mistake on the on that three on one goal against. He got, but he was driving the puck in the areas. He was strong on the puck. He was shooting the puck. He missed the top corner in the second period three times for sure. It was close. And on that goal against, it wrapped around. And he got watching it a little bit in our deep pinch, and he didn't reload for him and kind of gave up that uh, scoring chance and ends up uh, getting them on the board for their first one. Um, but for the bulk of his game, I thought he was a dangerous player. It looked like he was back to being himself. I wanted to get him rewarded so uh, normally he doesn't play a lot of five versus six but I had him out at the end of the game because I want him to I want him to get you know back on the board and feeling good about his game and, and um, I mean he makes a beautiful play on the vowel goal he goes and cuts the half ball in the offensive zone after making a great great breakout play great patience he advances it to new hook new hook shoots it and he gets over to the half ball in the hurry and cuts it off and then finds Val. Uh, open in the net front, Val makes a nice move, but a lot of that work was done prior in the shift to Berkey in order to get that goal. So I thought he had a good night. He just gets moved. Stick. Yeah. He took it off his skate. Yeah. And then still stick handle it and went to his backhand. It was a nice goal. It was pretty good. Yeah. That yeah, was a nice goal for sure.
Well, I mean, you know you're going to go through times when you're missing guys. It's harder when you're missing your top guys. Um, but I just think, like, it's a little bit of our leadership. I think there's a hunger there from, you know, guys like Miko. He goes into the middle of the ice. It's a new challenge for him. He wants to prove that he can do that. Um, I'm behind him on that. I think he's been doing an amazing job at center. Uh, really involved in the game. Uh, you look at Landis Gug's game tonight, I thought he was absolute beast tonight. Um, you know, Berkey steps up. Kadri is another guy, you know, with Mako. He is sort of the number one center, even though he's still anchoring his own line. Um, I, I just think that there's a hunger there to continue to try and win regardless of who's in the lineup. I think there's also, you know, those guys having a little something to prove because Mac, you know, Mac has a – gets a lot of credit, but it, that's because he has a lot of responsibility that he's earned and, and he finds a way to continue to help us win on a nightly basis. So a guy like that's out of the lineup, everyone around him knows that they have to step up and, and our guys seem to be eager to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we did some good things. Like we had a couple looks um, scored at the end of the one power play, extending, you know, sort of taking advantage of a tired group and extending ozone time. It was our second unit, um, but for the most part, maybe a little too methodical with our puck movement. And um, you know, but we did some good things shooting the puck with some traffic, but seemed like we wanted to pass it around a little bit much because we didn't quite have the net presence, but I know they had a plan. I like the plan, you know, looking at some of the pre-scout and watching, um, you know, some, some of the things that they do and how we might be able to take advantage of, but it just seemed like our execution was a little methodical for me. Great player. I've, I've been watching him a lot lately because you hear the buzz around the league between him and Raymond uh, up for rookie of the year. Both of them very skilled and very good players, unique players. Sider stands out to me because he's a big guy, great puck mover. He has a physicality to his game. He's able to, I mean, real strong defender, but then um, he also has this sort of understated offensive ability. Like he's really... Um, there's a there's a lot of characteristics that I see in him that I see in Taves. Um, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He's a big, strong, physical guy too. So those guys don't come around very often. And being as young as he is, I think he's going to be a a real good player for a long time in this league. He's going to be a superstar. Oh, he did for sure. Yeah, no question. Smart play, intelligent play. Um, Lots of guys get into that area. It might not be a great scoring area because he's getting a little bit of pressure from the Gerard slide. He just makes an intelligent play, and it was it was definitely planned.